welcome to the channel folks good to be back with you after a while so i'm back with a brand new series on dollar cost averaging with the recent bullishness i think this is a great time to go into some of the strategies and i'll be doing six videos okay and i will go through 24 strategies right compare each of these with real hard data and at the end of the series i will tell you the winning strategy i have a clear winner and then i will reveal it in the final video make sure you watch till the end of the video for key takeaways let's start with most common questions that many of you have on dca okay starting with should you invest every single day or should you do it once a month should you chase the green candles or should you wait for big corrections and for those who are tech savvy should you look for a golden cross or a death cross golden cross is when your lower frame moving average crosses your higher frame moving average right which is considered bullish and death cross is the opposite and the next is should you do it when the asset is oversold right like following the rsi or should you do based on the market sentiment whether it's in fear greed uh, or neutral right based on the fear and greed index that we see on uh, crypto twitter now this series will answer all these questions okay you will know exactly which one is better over other i said better right how do we define better to me when a strategy gives me a better roi with least effort possible that's when i call something better okay so here i have a chart that shows four different quadrants in terms of effort and return so on the x-axis I'm measuring effort, which is basically the amount of time that you spend to purchase those assets, right? So this could be the trades, the buys that you do in the market, right? And the return is going to be uh, a ROI, right? We can also do annualized, but to keep things simple, I'm going to do a simple ROI over a nine year period, right? Now the best strategies will involve least effort and high return right so those should follow in this quadrant on the opposite side right those strategies with highest effort and then least return so i would consider them as bad strategies and there are high effort high return and low effort low return which are kind of moderate right so my target is to give you strategies in this quadrant that possibly you can take ahead and implement. I believe most of you already agree that DCA is the best way to invest in crypto. But to those who still think you can time the market exactly, you need to change your mindset. Let me give you an example. Here is a nine year daily closing price of Bitcoin in blue. And then the orange is the yearly average, right? From this, the best time to buy could be somewhere 2015, right, 2019, 2020, COVID crash, and then probably end of 2022. And the best time to exit could have been 2018 beginning and mid of 2019 and early 2021 but it's extremely hard or almost impossible to predict the extremes, right? Because there's so many moving parts and events that are out of your control, okay? If you follow the market closely, understand technical indicators, liquidity cycles, on-chain behavior, right? There are good chances you can catch close to the bottom, but never the exact bottom or top. Okay, there is a reason why people say time in the market is better than timing the market, which I completely agree. Now, let's summarize. Here I kind of outline both the upsides and the downsides to DCA. And the number one benefit is it's simple and passive, right? You don't need to spend hours of your time every single day. You can just look at weekly once or a monthly to make sure the fundamentals are intact, right? The number two benefit is you're taking out the emotion from the picture, right? You're no longer chasing the green candles or the dumps, but rather you're executing a predefined strategy like a professional. 
and number 3 is it helps you develop a long term thinking approach which is i think extremely important especially if you're looking for life changing gains i made all of those life changing gains through my long term investments which is at least 3 to 5 years on the downside you may miss on higher returns especially during uptrend years but again that's part of the game okay and the second downside is it's difficult to pick a strategy that works in different environments okay i'm going to help you here to find that best strategy like i said before that gives you the best roi with least effort during every single bitcoin cycle to wrap up i believe dca is the best way for an average investor to get into the market now let's talk about the first three strategies from this series so that's daily biweekly and monthly right so all these three strategies have a common behavior which is you buy recurrently and that's why i call this category as recurrence now on daily you just buy bitcoin every single day biweekly every two weeks monthly once a month right that's in a nutshell now before i jump into each of these let me give you a quick 101 on the bitcoin four year cycles now everyone talks about the four year cycles in bitcoin right i uh, i want to take that further and explain the yearly wave structure so you can see how my strategies perform in each of these waves okay now let's look at the past two four year cycles okay 2014 to 2018 and 2018 to 2022 okay if you look at the yearly wave structures the first one here is a correction wave right and then followed by a consolidation wave and then a uptrend wave and then another uptrend wave right so in the second cycle you see the same pattern as well right the correction wave followed by the consolidation by the uptrend and another uptrend right now make sure you understand these wave patterns because that will really help you to understand how well the strategies perform in different wave patterns okay now let's start with the first strategy which is daily in daily you basically buy every single day right on the left hand side so i have the roi plotted against every single year for the last 9 years and also the number of buys into the asset or the number of trades you make into buying the asset right which is basically same as the number of days in that year right now what you'll notice here is remember the wave uh, patterns 2014 had a negative wave pattern right so you see a negative roi 2015 was the consolidation so you had a little bit of gain here 2016 had a uptrend and same with the 2017 what you'll notice is when you buy recurrently your roi kind of follows the trend if you are in a uptrend year you'll make a positive roi and in the downtrend year you'll make a negative roi and during consolidation years you may make it little bit positive or negative roi right so the same cycle repeats right so 2018 so bear negative uh consolidation positive 2020 uptrend positive 2021 uptrend uh somewhat positive 2021 is somewhat special i'll not go into details right now but that kind of gives you the roi per year now the total roi for all the 9 years right from 2014 to 2022 is 1497% So what that means is every dollar that you invested is now worth 15.97 right about $16. What I like better is the annualized ROI which kind of calculates the annual return over the period of this 9 years right which is 36%. That's a lot okay just to give you the context S&P 500 uh, for the last 10 years return 12.5% uh, annualized roi so bitcoin did three times better 
okay and nasdaq did 13.5 percent annualized roi for the last 10 years right now we looked into the daily strategy let's see where it fits in the effort versus return chart okay the daily strategy falls somewhere in this quadrant right which is not the best but probably a moderate strategy okay so the reason it's here is because the effort is high if not probably the highest because you need to keep buying bitcoin every single day okay you may build a bot but i'm not assuming that you're a programmer right so you assuming you do it manually that's a huge effort right so the return for daily strategy i would say is moderate and let's see if the next strategies will beat daily now let's look at the strategy number two which is bi-weekly okay so in the bi-weekly from a quick glance of it right you see the total roi is quite similar and the annualized roi is exactly same right as daily and also from the ROI per year, you also see a similar pattern based on the wave structures we saw before, right? So bear negative, consolidation slightly positive, uh, uptrend positive, uptrend positive, right? And then it follows, right? The only difference here is now the effort is much smaller, right? Because you're buying once every two weeks compared to buying every day. Right. So you only have 24 buys per year as compared to 365. Right. So that's really the only difference I see uh, between biweekly and uh, daily. Now let's look at the effort versus return chart again. Now we saw daily being in the moderate uh, range. Right. Or quadrant. Now the biweekly is in the quadrant that we want. Right. Which is the best performing quadrant so this is the type of strategies we should be looking at L less effort right just 24 buys per year and then almost the same return as daily okay now let's move on with the strategy number three which is monthly again you see the same pattern similar roi similar annualized roi and similar roi per year as well but the difference here is again the number of trades per year which is 12 instead of 24 for bi-weekly right because now you buy only once a month okay let's look at the effort return chart now we saw the daily in the moderate quadrant and uh, bi-weekly in the best performing quadrant now monthly is even better right because it returns the same uh, roi but then with even less effort right you see the difference now let's wrap up so in this video we looked into three strategies out of the 24 in the series and then we compared these three and then plotted them on an effort versus return chart right to kind of understand which one is better right now what are the takeaways number one if you are buying Bitcoin every single day, which is following the daily strategies, stop it. Okay, it's not worth it. There is no reason why you should buy Bitcoin every single day. It's just a waste of effort. Okay, for the number two takeaway, like which one is better, monthly or the bi-weekly? I would say align it with your paycheck. So if you get a bi-weekly paycheck, go ahead with bi-weekly. If you get a monthly paycheck, that's even better, less effort. So go with the monthly uh, strategy, okay? So I saw in a survey that about 50% of the employees in US receive wages bi-weekly, okay? So it's a tie, I would say, between monthly and bi-weekly. That's takeaway two. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications to see the next five videos in this series and also finally the winner uh, of all. Let me know what you think of this video and the strategies covered. I spent a whole weekend doing this so appreciate any feedback so that I can make it better in the coming uh, videos. Okay, uh, signing off. Remember this channel is all about data-driven insights not some made up useless opinions or useless price predictions it's all about educating you so you can make informed decisions in the market